Hi, it's Liv and welcome back to my time at Sandrock. First of all, thanks a lot. I just realized that we passed 300 subscribers. This is a tiny channel, it's a big deal for me. So even though I am terrible at keeping track of these things, uh, because I literally just realized, uh, I am grateful. So thanks a lot. That means that over 300 of you want to watch me play games or talk about hot guys. From my perspective, it doesn't really matter. Both are good. <laughs> so once again, thank you. Now, without further ado, we have things to do because we absolutely must finish that crane lift today and that commission for Elsie. So let's go out and let's get to work. Oh, the, the game is lagging a bit. Okay. All right, let's feed the mighty machines. And obviously, let's gather what they spat out. And obviously, let's put them to work. Copper scrap, more dregs. But frankly, we still don't have enough materials to finish that lift. So, we're gonna go to uh, Eufaula Salvage and we're just gonna get some more scrap. Because now, it all depends on the recycler's time and luck, mostly. It's an interesting thing to go digging so early in the morning, but that's okay. That's what we are here for. <laughs> Aiming is hard. At this point, this should be my catchphrase. <laughs> Finally. And we got a little bonus buff. Right, give me sweet, sweet mechanical scrap and copper scrap and data disks and everything. I want everything. Uh, okay. I see the miners are also working their butts off. So I'm not the only person digging in the morning. Okay, let's go home and let's feed the recycler some more scrap. And let's hope for the best. Hello, ants. One day I'm gonna have to kill you to learn about you. That's sad. Wow, I actually used the gate. That's weird. Okay, bearing, one bearing. That's not bad. And a copper stick. Fine. Eat. Eat more. Give me more stuff. And have some more food. Okay, actually I have enough copper sticks. Uh, yeah, let's install it right away. So... Now it's just bearings. And let's get that glass. And we can go and find Elsie right away. And I need to remember to give her the glass this time. Oh my god. He's here. Cue background music of angels singing. Or something. Oh, look at poor Hex. <laughs> Trying to catch up with him, with Fang. Hello, Fang. It's almost like the first time we met when I played the demo. Hi. What do you want? No, nothing uh, You must be looking for the doctor. We have something for you. For a new person. Um. No danger at all. Take it, you jerk. <laughs> Tell us what happens. Should be safe. Should be. Should be. Yeah, should be safe. It actually is safe, but... It's not uh, a thing you want to hear from, well, not your doctor, but your doctor's assistant. Even if he's a bird. <sighs> and off he went. To look for oregano and sandberries and whatnot. Especially whatnot. Okay, where are you, Elsie? I got glass for you. Oh, wow so far away oh i want a horse so badly elsie howdy let's talk to her Need first something? i got a lot on my plate today heard the cattle stag a few sandfish get the horses out for a run not exactly chores but things that do need doing i get it i get it however i have um something for you your glass my dear <laughs> Shoot, when did I post that commission again? That was mighty quick. Wait till I tell my Yakmel about this. Take her easy. Okay, you go talk to your Yakmel. And I... 
want a horse so bad. <laughs> oh, horses. Yeah. Gotta wait. Gotta wait just a bit more. Besides, now, as far as I know, we can have stables and we can have our own horse, which is nice. But this is going to take a while, so not yet. Okay, I just got another bearing, so just one more. Okay, since we have to wait anyway, let's get another commission. Because there is really no point in standing around doing nothing. I still don't want to take anything uh, very complicated. Oh, Jan is not here. Uh, let's see, there are new commissions on the commission board. Hmm. Uh, wooden sticks, mm, basic leather. Oh, this actually pays well, basic awning, but I'm not sure if I can do it. No, I can't make bronze bars. Let's take those wooden sticks for Amira. I mean, it's wood, it's gonna be annoying, but we can handle it. At least I hope so. Judging by my amazing performance in the last episode, I wouldn't be so sure. <clears throat> But, uh, I'd better start gathering wood right away. Uh, we're gonna need some of the, well... Karagana. Learned about Karagana, whatever that is. Uh, we're gonna need some cacti, because ball cacti always give us at least some wood. Or at least most of the time. I should be careful not to hit the big cactus. Although, no, my axe is way too weak. Oh, haha. He's right over there. Behind that rock. Can you see him? Yeah. Officially, it has begun. Because every time he shows up, I turn into an owl. I swear. I go, whoo. And suddenly my head can turn 360 degrees, if need be. It's a terrible affliction, I'm telling you. <laughs> okay. I gotta admit that I've never ever um, encountered an NPC that would do this to my brain before, and I'm not proud of that. However, now I should focus on the task at hand. Okay, I have all the wood I need and more. Let's check my recyclers. Old parts. No bearings, though. Too bad. Right. So, more waiting. Okay, let's make those wooden sticks. Uh, how many do I need? 11. Let's make 11. And all done. We can go talk to Amira. And today's Sandrock commission will be officially done. Well, that was surprisingly painless. Honestly, I expected more trouble. <laughs> Knowing myself, of course. Uh, wait... Did I meet Crystal? Let's go and see. Hello. Howdy. I didn't. Second in command that you fall a salvage, <laughs> wife of Rocky. Most important thing in life is family. I mean, other than like air and stuff, I guess. But you know what I mean. Uh, I think I do. Catch you later. And I think I agree to a degree. That rhymed and I did not plan this. Okay, let's go and talk to Amira. Now, that one has an interesting family situation. Family is important unless you have a brother like Arvio, and then you wonder why. Hi. Hello. Have you gotten used to the heat yet? A lot of travelers complain about the sand rock heat. But since I'm from Barna Rock, I don't even notice it. Well, good for you. I hate heat. <laughs> right, I have sticks for you. Thank you, da 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 da. Catch you later. Uh, actually, I really like summer, I just don't like when it's too hot. The idea of summer is awesome, summer evenings are great, but actually I think my favorite season is fall. I never said I was original. Well, hello, Grace. Hello. Hmm. I majored in archaeology because I'm... Ah, uh, yeah. See ya. You already said that before. So, bye-bye. Let's go back to building our crane lift. Actually, what's that arrow? Ah, it's that quest for pen. We could take it. It's XP and money, I think. Definitely XP. 
And some friendship points, I guess. Oh, we've only been to the temple once before, with Jasmine. Oh, look, Pen. So technically he is here, but I'm sure he's gonna be somewhere else in a second. Hmm, where is that quest? Oh, look, a Hyacinth Orchid. Unobtainable, this one. Right. Hmm. Okay. So, you see, I have misplaced my sword and shield, but after some thinking I realized that maybe it was all for the best. I don't really like hurting people anyway. Aha! Nonsense, there is no higher pursuit than perfecting combat. Besides, we need all the help we can get in our crusade for justice. You need training, Burgess. I insist. Oh, hmm. boy. Um, well, I mean, if you really think it'll help everyone... I don't. Aha! Good man! Ah, and look who it is, our resident builder, who, no doubt, can forge you a new set of weapons. Isn't that grand, Burgess? <sighs> oh, goody. Hello. Salutations, builder! I've been teaching Burgess the art of the blade. Pretty cool of me, huh? No, you're basically torturing him. Anyway, he's lost his training sword and shield. I was wondering if you could build him a new set. That's easy for you, right? I mean, I don't want to do it, but I will. Sure. Uh -huh. Wonderful. Don't keep us waiting too long now, hmm? You should be able to craft them on your work table. Yes, I should. I am sorry, Burgess. I am so sorry. <laughs> okay. Pen is just being obnoxious. But that's Pen. Okay, so that sword and shield, it's uh, very easy to make. I have most of the stuff that I need. I have stone and I have copper bars. I just need two wooden sticks and that's it. And I just realized we did not go to talk to Mort yet. And we are right by the cemetery. So we're gonna go and meet Mort. How could I forget? Uh, should we take a look at this gravestone? No, no spoilers. Most of you know, but... No spoilers, okay. Let's go and meet Mort, finally. Hello, Mort. Hi. Oh, hello, young one. You're no doubt the new builder, yes? Yep, that's me. And this is the old voice of Mort, because in the newer quests, they changed it. It sounds less old. Still not sure which one is the official one, though. Okay. I'm Mort, and I've been here for, shall we say, quite some time. <laughs> I'm the caretaker of Sandrock Cemetery. Do feel free to stop by and share with me your musings. I have a lot of time, and I think you'll find me to be a good listener. Hello. Okay, uh, once again? Yeah. You ask do I miss my old friends? Well, I visit them almost every day. Wow, that's dark. A and kind of sweet at the same time. But that's the thing with very old people, that duality. Take her easy. There's this kind of dusty wisdom of years, of decades. And at the same time, well, sweetness if they're nice but also that shadow lurking about, which uh, stems from being close to death, frankly speaking. And funny thing is that the older I get, the more I like old people. When I was in my 20s, I used to be very, very impatient with them. But then I noticed that their wisdom is actually extremely valuable. See, and this proves that I'm old. Just the fact that I'm actually talking about it right now. Right. I'm done with the profound life lessons. Let's go back to building our crane lift. Okay, let's see if there's anything good in the recycler. Yes, it's another bearing. We got it. Let's install it. Yes, the crane lift is ready. Uh, you know what? I have six cactus fruit and I'm going to eat them. It's just... Frankly, it's just six more uh, stamina. Mm. But I'm gonna need all the stamina. Because I want to go digging right away. Uh, this looks... <laughs> ridiculous. I could swear that this crane lift is generally bigger. Uh, let's put it away. There's no point in carrying it around like that. Oh, and I can see Fang and I can see X. 
Not on Fang's shoulder. Right, here's our chance. Let's talk to the bird. X, are you lost? Relationship plus one. Ga, ga, ga. Wow. Uh, I have a gift for you. We should have a scorpion. Yep. There you go. Mm, yummy, yummy, yummy. I'm glad you like it. Actually, this is our first gift in this playthrough. Oh, and X decided to join Fang. Okay, X, admit it. You knew that we're gonna give you a gift. That we're gonna give you something tasty. Uh, but that also means that we don't have to go to the clinic, because that was kind of my plan. Uh, somewhere um, in the back of my head, I was prepared to go to the clinic uh, in the evening. But now we don't have to. Now we're gonna go and install that crane lift. Finally! And then we're gonna do some ruin diving, even just a bit. Because obviously we don't have enough stamina, but I'm not going back to the Blue Moon Saloon to eat. Okay, the memorable moment has come. I give you uh, the crane lift. Confirm. It's alive! Okay, we did it! I gotta tell you, those two lifts you made are running like a dream. Looks like Yan finally did something right higher in the two of you. Maybe we don't have to move out of Sand Rock after all. Of course you don't. Well, now me and my boys can finally get back into the abandoned ruins and get to work. But we're still way behind on our mining quota. Say, that gives me an idea. You two like diving, don't you? Of course. Sure we do. Ruin diving is what builders do best. Well, that and building. <laughs> I think I got another way we can both help each other out. You want to do some digging? Uh, sure. All right, so here's the deal. The abandoned ruins around here are the pride and joy of Ufala Salvage. They hold precious resources and relics from the old world. They're open to anybody who has the same pass you use to access our salvage yard. Okay. Pass fees pay for folks like you to rent a jetpack in case you dig yourself in too deep, and a scanner for finding relics easier. Also, sometimes we gotta hire the Civil Corps to go through from time to time to make sure we don't have any, uh, incidents. Yeah, yeah. You builders can use your pick hammers to dig tunnels through the ruins. And also to break up ores and valuables that you can take back to your workshop to make all kinds of cool stuff. Anything's fine as keepers down there. But, uh, I got a little proposition for you. Oh? Since the lift's been out of commission for so long, me and my boys are gonna have to break our backs to make up for lost time. If you want to sell me some of the ores you find in the next couple of days, I'd pay you top goals. No problem. Just something to consider. Well, you enjoy yourselves. Don't mind anything I wouldn't mind. <laughs> Woohoo! It's mining time! Uh, it sure is. Uh, okay. So, that's done. It's not gonna be a lot, uh, but I still wanna do some mining. Oh, I discovered Paradise Lost. Alright, okay, let's go. Whoa. Okay, that's a long way down. You definitely want to use the lift. I jumped down once for science and I died. Okay, let's go in. Mm, mining time, mining time. Right, and we're here. Ah, uh, use the jetpack. Let's use the scanner. Okay, no relics in sight. Let's mine. Copper. Oh, all the possibilities suddenly unlocked. I feel so much better now. Oh, I see some relics. Oh, I don't need to dig here. Okay, let's go after the relics. Uh, simple circuits and old parts. Right. Some more copper. 
And that's it, no more stamina. At least we have a fair amount of copper. Oh, we also don't have any more space. We have 58 pieces of copper. Oh, I have over 1600 goals. Okay, let's buy ourselves some more space in our backpack. Um, hmm. 10 goals per uh, square. Let's buy five. Okay, let's buy five. Oh, and we also have some points to spend. Okay, let's see. Um, buh, buh, buh. Do I want basic stone knowledge? Or do I want more stamina? Actually, I want basic stone knowledge. We're gonna do a lot of digging. Uh, and now I wish I got that earlier. I don't know when exactly we got that point to spend. Anyway, better late than never. All right. And that's it. Let's go out. Oh, I forgot I don't need to walk. All I really need to do is this. Okay, and now we could actually find Rocky because he wants he wants only 10 copper or really? He complained they're gonna need to do all that work and all he wants is 10 pieces of copper? Well, okay, if that's all you want, then that's all you get. Okay, Rocky. I got your 10 pieces of copper. Hey, thanks, Builder. No problem. <laughs> I guess you found it all right down there. <laughs> this little bit will go a long way. Here's something for your troubles. Like I said, top goals. It's, uh, 60 goals. But he only wanted 10 pieces of copper, so... Rocky, it takes literally a minute. But I'm guessing that player characters bend the rules of the universe. And you know what? Now I'm at a loss. I don't quite know what to do with myself after we finish that crane lift. Not sort. Sort all. Okay, let's put that in here. And yeah, I should start thinking about getting myself a new chest. Oh, I also have new shorts. I completely forgot about them. Yep. And that damn sound again. I really need to buy myself a new mouse. I'm on it. Oh, and I completely forgot, we still have to make that uh, stone uh, sword and shield for Pen. And, uh, okay, this is easy. I just need two wooden sticks. Yeah, I can make them. And we can make the sword and shield. Let's do this. Great, so maybe we can still catch Pen. I kind of see his uh, marker. Because if we managed to do that, we would have a completely clean slate for tomorrow. And that would be great. Yeah, I can see Pen is out and about. Splendid. Pen, I have stuff for you. Well, for Burgess, but I really wish you stopped pestering him. Aha! Oh, yes, right. Well, it seems in classic Pen fashion I've solved the problem myself and forgotten to inform you. We found Burgess's sword and shield, they were under his bed. It's always the last place you look, am I right? Um, Pen, I suspect he really wanted to hide it. He really didn't want to learn how to fight. But of course, you're just too thick-headed to understand that. Here's an idea. Why don't you keep them? Take him out into the desert, swing the sword around a bit. Who knows what kind of fun you could have out there. <laughs> Sure, it might be dangerous, but isn't that half of the excitement? Pen. Heck, maybe you can finally be the one to take down that dastardly Logan and his gang. Ha! Huh, that'd be rich. First of all, you'd be surprised. Sec well, Farewell. Farewell, in any case. Ta, yes. Second of all, I really wish you stopped. I really feel sorry for Burgess, because he just wanted to hide that weapon. He really didn't want to learn anything. Okay, so we actually managed to do quite a bit today. And you know what? I am just going to drop by the guild and sell that sword and shield because I don't use sword and shield. I use my daggers and sometimes a spear. Not sword. 
not sword, sell. <laughs> oh, 34 goals. Oh, plus 4% uh, market price. Could be better, but that's... That's okay. Yeah, it's a nice evening. My machines are working. So I'm just gonna sit right here and relax. And because we have nothing else to do, that's gonna be it for today. So, thanks again for 300 subs. Thanks so much for watching, and I see you in the next video. Take care.